Hi guys, what's up? Finally, for once in my life, <laughs> after all those promises, I'm sitting down and doing a full face of TJ Maxx makeup. I need a round of applause like now. I recently organized my TJ Maxx makeup drawer, so that's what kind of inspired this video. I did do my brows already. My hair is keratin treated, so I can't really get it like wet or anything, and we're not looking the cutest at the moment. <laughs> So all of the products I'm going to be using on my face are products that I purchased from TJ Maxx at one time or another. First up, we're going to use the Primed and Poreless by Too Faced. Love this. It really fills in your pores nicely. The perfect amount comes out every single time. And it just makes your face feel really, really nice and soft. How I like to apply this is um, I like to mainly focus it on my um, cheeks just because my pores are pretty large. Um, and then I'll just kind of like rub it out. For foundation, I'm going to use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation um, along with the Copacabana Illuminator from NARS. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and just apply it on my face like this. This is what I've been doing lately. I've been using this lately, I should say. And I'm not going to say that I love it. I feel like it really, really is very drying on my skin. So I have to put a really good primer on underneath. Whoa. Um... But I like the coverage that it gives. It's the perfect shade. I wear it in CN02. And it does give... Did I say full coverage already? I'm not sure. And then with the NARS um, Illuminator, I'm just going to rub it um, against my fingers and just put it all over my face, wherever I kind of want. So it'll mix in with the foundation soon. The next thing I'm going to do is put on some of the Dream Lumi um, concealer. I'm just going to put a little bit here, not go way overboard. I like to blend this out usually with a smaller brush just because it kind of gets into smaller places as opposed to like a bigger brush, like between my brows. That big brush is just not going to fit in there, you know what I mean? Next, I'm going to be using these Too Faced um, Skin Smoothing Press Powder. This is the poreless one on just a big fluffy brush just to set everything in. I really like this because, again, it just sets everything in, makes your face somewhat poreless, and doesn't really leave like a white cast just because the color is more like an off-white. We need to definitely add some color back to my face, like, now. I'm actually purchased this uh, W7 Hollywood Bronze and Glow Little Palette for me. She's so sweet. She's been wanting me to use this for quite some time. I think it's supposed to be a dupe for like the Charlotte Tilbury um, Bronze and Glow. Uh, so I'm going to use this to contour and see what it's about. So it has a little bit of like a shadow. Not overly. Although I do feel like if you have a deeper skin tone, this probably wouldn't work out. I don't know how I feel about it. Just give me a second. I feel like it has... Maybe like a reddish undertone to it, but not in a very flattering way. And I feel like it has a sheen to it too. I'm actually going to go in with this Laura Geller um, Beach Matte uh, Siesta Medium Bronzer. This is so beautiful. Hopefully it's going to give my skin the nice warm effect. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah, that W71 has a very interesting pinky reddish undertone to it. I'm not really feeling that vibe. So I don't think it's a dupe for like the Charlotte Tilbury one because I don't think that one is like that. All right, I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and put it on my nose. I don't necessarily contour my nose, just sometimes I like to just put some color there messily so it's not, so it kind of just fits in with the look. Occasionally I'll do it like in a neater way, but no, not all the time. Now I just take a bigger brush usually and I'll just kind of like blend all of that in. I still feel like I need a tad more color. Or this is this good? Maybe it's good. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to go on with the third bronzer here. This is by NARS and this is Laguna. This was such an amazing find at TJ. I think I, I mean, I know this is going to be nice, but ooh, nice. Okay, so what's annoying about this is that it kind of has like hard pen. But it does pick up on the brush, surprisingly. Yeah, you see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I need that little bit of warmth. That smoothness, that, like, perfect undertone vibe right here. So for blush, I'm going to use this palette, the Narcissist um, Wanted One palette. I love this. It's so pretty. Ugh, but it's just a little bit of pain in the butt to open. I'm going to use this shade right here, this gorgeous red. It's stunning. I like to use... Um, these kind of brushes where the bristles are not so tightly packed because then 
it blends out nicer on the face. This is extremely pigmented. You can see like what is going down. I like to brush it on my nose a little and then I'll just blend it out. And then sometimes if I go heavy handed, I just use a fluffy brush and blend my life away, away. Alright, not bad. No bad at all. So I'm going to do highlighter last, I should say. Just because I love like the effect it gives like, later, later on. For the eyes, I'm going to use the Pretty Mess palette from Too Faced. This was by Erica Jane. Emma actually gifted this uh, to me for my birthday. And I still did not have a chance to use it. She's been asking me for quite some time. Hey, can you do a look with that palette? Hey, can you do a look with that palette? And I was like, yeah, 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 I will, I will. It's been two months, girl. Okay. So I decided to just pull this out for this video. The packaging is really gorgeous. And I've been honestly dying to see how this performs. It's such nice quality, like, packaging. I like it. I like it a lot. So here is the face. Uh, the first shade I'm going to go in with is Close Off, which is this really pretty cream yellowy type of shade. Actually interesting. I didn't expect it to be so yellow. I feel like but once it's on the eye, it's not as yellow. First actual shade I'm going to go in is with this one. It's called Rich is Better. Is it really... really really sweating buckets here like wow i didn't think it would be so hot next i'm going to use this shade right over here called f frugal i'm not going to say the f word here on my channel but i'm going to use that on a smaller brush and pretty much pack that in the crease as much as possible Alright, after blending out for about 100 years, <laughs> no, for quite some time, only because I wanted to build up the color, I think it came out really nicely. I love the intensity. I just kind of went over it, like, till I got my desired intensity. Um, you know, looking at this right now, it seems like a pretty basic palette. Um, I feel like the next shade I might be going in with, and I will be going in with, is Private Jet Setter, which is this one right over here, because there really isn't any other options of shades I can go in with. So I'm just going to use some of that, build that up in the crease, make it a bit darker, and then we'll go in with the lid shade, which I'm the most excited about. I feel like that shade is pretty much almost borderline black when you mix it in with that purple, but it builds up really nicely. It has a little bit of kick up, but not bad at all. I want to do this eye in a second, but I want to first do the lid for this one because I'm kind of excited. So for the lid, I'm going to go on with this shade, which is called Worth the Weight. And the reason is because this is the only one that's like that like loose PC glitter. And I think it's really going to add a like ba-bam effect on the eyes. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my finger dry. And then if I feel like I need a, it to be amped up a bit, I'm going to wet it. The shade applied pretty nicely. I don't think you necessarily need to wet it, but I feel like it does add a little bit more. I'm just going to take my other brush and just kind of um, blend the brown with the glitter so it kind of looks a bit more seamless and like one. So it's not like line in the middle and then, you know what I mean? <sighs> Alright, I'm going to go finish up the other eye. I'll be back in a few moments. Okay, so both eyes are done. I really like how the look came out so far. For lashes, I'm going to be using the MAC Bad Bold Bad Black um, Mascara, right? Okay, so basically it's like a two-in-one situation. You twist off like the smaller cap and then there's like a small little um, lash brush in there. Put that in back and then you turn both together and then you get a big mascara wand. So I'm gonna comb my top lash with the bigger one, baby with lower. Lashes are done. I don't know if I'm going to put on false lashes, will I? I have these like uh, very um, non-dramatic false lashes from 
kiss. So I think maybe I might just sew these on. It's by it's the page boy style, but I think this looks really pretty even without it. Let's just put on some um, highlighter because I feel like I'm not glowing as much. For the highlighter, I'm going to be using the MAC Hyper Real Glow. This is the best highlighter palette I purchased at TJ Maxx. I've been using it. I love it. So nice. Literally outer space experience. So I'm just going to take a little bit and put it on my cheekbones, of course. You guys know the drill, right? Um, a little bit. Let's blow this up. I want to get like boom, bam, baby. Boom, bam, baby. That's three Bs in a row. <laughs> I like to accentuate my nose. I like my nose. I think it's very cute. Truth is, I feel like I do look like my father at the end of the day and he was the cutest man I know. So, everything about me is so cute. Just because it has to do with him, you know? So, I feel like if you wet this, it'll be even more oh my god, but I don't feel like you really, really need to because it's so beautiful. It's sinking into the skin so beautifully, so nicely. It's just heaven sent. I'm going to put a little bit up here as well. Yum. Oh, in here too. And I think I'm going to build up on the blush a little bit more just because sometimes I feel like when I do my eyes, I can still be a little bit washed out. So I'm going to take a little bit more of the blush from the NARS palette, that pinky shade, and build up. Most of my makeup is done with the exception of lip products. I pulled out the ABH liquid lipstick in Hudson. Just felt like this would be, I don't know, but suit this eye look really well. But I'm so happy that I did this, 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 this video because I feel like so many of you guys have been asking me like, hello, like, come on, can you just do a look? And I like that in a nicer way, of course. I'm just screaming at myself. But um, I'm just, I'm happy that I did this because it's like now you can see like how I achieve my look, you know, from going from like Casper. Going to Queen Casper. <laughs> Queen Casper. I think on top of that, just for fun, I'm gonna put on the Laura Geller Color Luster Lip Gloss in Gilded Honey. It's such a beautiful, like, ooh, yellowy, I mean, orangey. As a perfect touch. And also, I feel like this AVH liquid lipstick is a little bit drawing. I'm not obsessed with AVH's liquid lipstick formula, honestly. At this point, I would also spray my face with some form of mist, but since I don't want to get my hair wet, I'm not going to spray my face, but this is where I would actually spray my face. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the eye look. I think it came out really beautiful. Sorry, this mirror is not doing it for me. Um, the shades blended out gorgeously on the eyes. I mean, these are amazing brands that we typically see at Sephora or Ulta. And I mean, to get them at a fraction of the cost at TJ Maxx, we have a winner. So definitely let me know what you guys thought of this. <laughs> so sorry definitely let me know what you guys thought of this eye look um and this makeup look in general i would say the only fail i'm sorry emma don't kick my butt but um she actually wanted me to test this out to see if it's good or not but emma i would probably say it's not the best and for you guys to know too i think i would probably skip out on this but for everything else i'm pretty happy with how they performed and then the clinique foundation is one that i feel like you really need to prep your skin if you want it to look good on the face. Otherwise, it emphasizes every single thing you may have on your face. Things that you didn't even know what you had on your face. I was like, what? <laughs> Anyways, I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.